hi again so welcome to this video where i'm going to teach you basically the voltage rails as you can see so i always use your comment and your question in my email to make videos so many of my followers ask me about the voltage rails table so this is the voltage rail tables guys i'm going to pass through all these voltages so of course if you understand these voltages this voltages i mean so if you and if you understand these voltages so h voltage means what exactly you can easily understand the schematic okay because the schematic composite of these signals and voltages for example the circuit for 3 volt 5 volt 5 volt you, you can find plus 5 volt always and 3 volt always as the output so the circuit for example for uh, the graphic card you can find as you can see here the 1.35 volts for memory gfx okay and also this voltage for the gpu for the ram for example you can find the main voltage 1.2 volts we have here basically the ddr4 ram and the secondary voltage or the voltage for terminal vtt okay so let's pass through this table and in the same so we can see the power plane as you can see here the description and the states as you can see here we have s0 s3 s5 and s4 and uh, already i explained to you what does uh, or what do the states mean so basically the states means uh, the process or the process of powering on okay the laptop powers on so there is a process that began from s5 when you put the adapter then when you press the power button then we will go move to s3 then will uh, when the laptop is fully on we have s0 where we have running voltages okay so here guys when you see here on okay on means the voltage is present in this state when you see off means the voltage is absent and here we have here on and this asterisk here we have a note means that this power plane is on only with ec adapter available otherwise it's off because uh, guys because please pay attention never uh, search or look for 3 volt always and 5 volt always when you use just the battery so there is voltages especially always voltages that are present and some primary voltages that are present when you insert the adapter but with the battery off so let's begin with the first voltage so basically these three are the same we have adapter power supply this is basically the power is rc what we want here is the b plus or the battery plus here 19 volt then we have the rtc as you can see cell rtc or real-time clock power here we have on in all states why because the the source that generate the rtc cell is the cell is the cmos battery that's why we have on here and then we have the three volt always five volt always and three volt always over here so here as you can see guys we have dsw means this this 3 volt is for the pch reel so inside so inside the pch uh, there is some component and control that needs this 3.3 volt okay so 3.3 volt always dsw 5 volt always and 3 volt always those basically are uh, always on and always present in s4 s5 s3 and s0 state once you connect the adapter that's why you have this asterisk here so those are present with the adapter the ec power is available okay as i told you but with the battery no you're gonna find with the battery you're gonna find here off 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 okay so the first one for the pch the pch guys is the platform control hub for bigger so basically in the motherboard you're gonna find the cpu Okay, the CPU and the PCH. The PCH gather all chipsets in the uh, newest or the, the advanced laptops for 
A7, A9, etc. And even some laptop i5 laptop, you're gonna find just the CPU and the PCH. The PCH basically is the interface or the bridge between the CPU and other components in the motherboard, like uh, ports, like memory, BIOS, keyboard, etc. Okay, so we have PCH over here, we have 5 volts, 16 plus 5 volts always on and 3 volt already this is main voltages then guys here we have 1.8 volt primary and 1.5 volt 1.0 volt primary also these two voltages we have system voltages as you can see are always present do you see on 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 when adapter is, is, is connected on 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 why so here you gotta understand why these two voltages are very important so without these two voltages these those voltages always voltages will not be generated why because this is the primary or this is the voltage that will power the ic the 3 volt 5 volt ic so because the 3 volt 5 volt ic it cannot generate uh, this, those voltages here without a working voltage so this is the primary voltage that is always present uh, those voltage the primary voltages basically are input voltages for 3 volt 5 volt circuit then it will generate the always voltages okay then guys we have the voltages for the memory we have basically here the ddr4 and the voltage for ddr4 is 1.2 volt do you remember so ddr4 1.2 volt ddr5 1.1 volt ddr2 1.5 volt ddr1 1 point or ddr2 1.8 volt and ddr1 2.5 volts okay so here this is the voltage for the memory please pay attention here for the memory we have off means in s5 and s4 when we didn't press the power button those voltages will be off okay guys so for the memory you cannot find please when you, you insert adapter do not look for do not search the major these two voltages for memory now these two voltages are coming in s3 and s0 okay so this is why the voltage rails the power sequence and timing diagram are very important to understand how things work within the motherboard you don't just measure and repair motherboard uh, randomly okay guys okay so we have 1.2 volt this is the uh, the uh, primary voltage or the working voltage ddr4 1.2 volt and we have here basically where is it here 0.6 ddr vtt this is basically for terminal we have here as you can see power rail for ddr terminator or terminations okay uh, so not please guys not that the voltage for terminal here we have off off the voltage for terminal is generated in s0 but the voltage here 1.2 volt the the main voltage is generated for uh, beginning from s3 s3 but the voltage for term termination in s0 we have just on here why why for, guys can you put it into comment okay anyway i will tell you why because uh, uh, the, the VTT for the memory is, is coming from 1.2 volt means 1.2 volt will be applied to another IC in order to generate 0.6 volt that's why this one is appeared in S3 as you can see here in S3 on but here we have off this one appeared in S0 okay after that we have these three voltages we have vcc st vcc tj and vcc io so basically these two voltages this is 1.05 volt we called it sometimes vccp so this is the voltage for termination but this time it's not termination for the memory but the termination or the bus that connect the pch with the cpu or sometimes we called it the front side bus okay 
uh, but sometimes the bus could be a very fast bus than an FSB bus, okay? So those voltages are necessary to power the termination between the PCH and the CPU. Without 1.05 volt, nothing will be happen. No communication will be occurred between the CPU and the PCH. Here basically we have the IO means the input output. This is also for input output the same. So for, for input operations and output operations for the CPU and PCH. And of course, we can find also this kind of signal in other motherboard that include many chipsets like like the north bridge the graphic card the separated chipset of course here we have the vcc core so please note that those voltages as you can see we have all are and here we have off in s3 and s4 and s5 says so note that those voltages here are just present in s0 means when the laptop is totally on so the vcc core basically this is the working the voltage or the main voltage for the cpu here we have core voltage for cpu okay and all those voltages as i told you are present in s0 uh, so the uh, is zero state so all voltages here are for chipsets for cpu either for cpu like this one or for graphic card for pch vcc sa as you can see the system agent power rail for pch the three volt this is for suspend here we have power rail for suspend power three volt always pch we have plus five volt system we have also in 3 volt 1.3 volt memory this is for gfx for graph for the gpu as you can see or in just s0 as you can see the same voltage so all those voltages are for gpu as you can see uh, graphic processing unit graphic processing unit, graphic processing unit. because the chipsets uh, need many kind of voltages not just one voltage as you can see 1.25 uh, plus 3 volt 1.8 volt 0. 95 volts as you can see some voltages here are for buses and some to power some component inside the chipset okay so i hope that you understand a little bit uh, the voltage rails please note that uh, some voltages are present in s4 and s5 before even press the power button others are present in s3 state like for memory or ram random access memory and others about maybe about 50 percent or 45 percent are present just in s0 state when the laptop is totally on and the voltages that are present in s0 state are for cpu and gpu and other big chipset so i hope that you understand this course thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video note that your likes really motivate me to create more videos and more exclusive content for you and please for anyone who want to accelerate learning all links in the description you can find the link for my patreon page you are very welcome join me i'm ready to mentor you and to help you Accelerate learning. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.